Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today again, it's not a travel vlog. Sorry to disappoint you. It's coming out very soon, but it is an interesting vlog regarding New Zealand referendum results. So let's check it out. In my previous video, I talked about how this year in New Zealand election, people also voted for two referendums. First was uh, legalizing cannabis for non-medicinal use and second was euthanasia or assisted dying. If you haven't watched that video, please click on the link or in the description below. So last Friday, 30th of October at 2 p.m., preliminary results of these referendums were out. 17% of special votes are yet to be counted but as of now preliminary results show 65.2 percent people voted yes for euthanasia and 53.1 percent people voted against legalizing cannabis for non-medicinal use now why these results are not final because 17 percent of the votes or in other words 480,000 votes are special votes and they are yet to be counted now you would be thinking what are special votes so special vote is a vote made by a person who was unable to visit the polling booth or their name was not on the electoral roll. For example, if someone is overseas or say in hospital or they are in prison on remand and there are some other circumstances where person couldn't vote in a polling booth. So for them, government makes alternative arrangements for these people to cast their vote and that's why they are counted as a special vote. As you can see, cannabis referendum result as of now is very close and there is a slim chance once the special votes are counted, it may change the final result. So now some interesting points uh, regarding this referendum results. After the results, New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern revealed that she voted yes for both referendums. Now this created some mild controversy in New Zealand. According to some people, Jacinda Ardern should have revealed her choices before the election to show the support for causes she believes in. But according to Jacinda herself, she didn't want to influence the election results and that's why she didn't reveal her choices before the election. In my opinion, it's a very ethical thing to do as a Prime Minister. You shouldn't be influencing people's votes and let people of the country decide their future in an unbiased, transparent way. So, kudos to Jacinda Ardern. Now going back to cannabis, during an election debate, Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern admitted using cannabis a few years ago. Judith Collins, have you ever used cannabis? No, I have not. Jacinda Ardern, have you ever used cannabis? Yes, I did, a long time ago. Now I must congratulate people of New Zealand and New Zealand politicians. It's not an easy thing to do for any Prime Minister to admit using an illegal drug. However, even after such an admission, there was no controversy around this or it didn't become the main point of talking for election. Now, going back to euthanasia. So currently there are only six countries in the world where euthanasia is legal. These countries are Switzerland, Netherlands, Luxembourg, Canada, Belgium and Colombia. After New Zealand referendum results came out, I noticed an overwhelming support for this law on social media platforms. As you can see some Facebook comments here. So my question is, should other countries also think about legalizing euthanasia if majority of their citizens are in favor of this law? Let me know your thoughts in comment section. I'm very interested to know. So now what? So on Friday 6th of November, final results will be out after counting special votes. So watch this space. I will be making an another video to let you know about the final results of both of these referendums. I hope you liked this video and found it informative. If you want to watch more of such videos and also my travel videos, make sure you hit subscribe. See you until next time.